Welcome to us. Click the circles. Hello guys, it's PP, and today I want to talk about the, in my opinion, best rhythm game out there, called Osu. I've been playing this game for almost two years now, although I've only really started playing a couple of months ago. In this video I'll give you a quick introduction to the game and talk about why I think this rhythm game is the best. So, what is Osu and how does it work? If you're already a pro at the game, I'll show a timestamp somewhere on the screen so you can skip to what makes this game so cute. So, Os is a game about circles. When the approach circle touches the edge of the inner circle, that's your cue to click it. You can then earn more score by accurately syncing your clicks to the music. Give these circles a try. Sliders build on circle mechanics. Click on the start position just like a circle, then keep holding the mouse button as you follow this ball at a predetermined speed along the track. If a slider then has a reverse arrow, you'll need to follow the ball backwards too. So try some of these yourself. The spinner is the simplest object type. Just hold your mouse button and spin your cursor around the center of the screen as fast as you can. Now you try. And that covers the basics of OS gameplay. In Osu there are multiple game modes. Standard. Mania. Catch. And Taiko. In this video, I'll focus on standard the most, but I'll go over the other game modes as well. The goals of the game, other than having fun, is just to get good, set new high scores by getting good combos and high accuracy, and gain PP, short for performance points. The more PP you get, the higher you rank on the global leaderboard. And as you could guess by the name of my channel, I like PP. At the moment there are around 3 million active players in OSU Standard as of 2020. I'm currently top 120k. The game is also very weebish, by the way, just giving you a heads up. It doesn't make the game any less fun though, even if you're not into anime. You just might need to get used to a lot of the music. The other game modes only require you to use your keyboard. Mania is most similar to other rhythm games out there, like Guitar Hero. In Catch you have to catch all the fruits using movement keys and dash to move faster. And in Taiko you only use two keys to click to the rhythm. Alright, so what makes Osu such a good game, and why is Osu the best rhythm game? First of all, the skill ceiling is insanely high. In a lot of games, the skill gap between a pro and a casual player can only be so big. In Osu, the skill gap between new and experienced players is gigantic. Your scores are also relatively little impacted by RNG compared to other games. So if you suck, it won't be because of some BS in the game. Just look at the difference between the kind of maps you'll play in your first week of playing and the maps the best of the best are able to play. I love how this game isn't made to be noob friendly like some other games. <coughs> the only way to get good scores in this game is by getting good, which is how games should be. You can improve very quickly in this game. You see yourself improve, which is so damn nice. If you know me, you know that I love improvement and statistics. Which also brings me to another thing that's great about this game. The ranking system in this game is one of the best I've ever seen. 
you don't get some vague rank that only gives you a very rough estimate how good you are. Here, let me show you this clip of Shroud talking about the best first person shooter player. This is the one of the worst questions to ask. In your opinion, in your opinion, who is the best FPS player right now? So one of the worst questions to ask because the best player FPS, RTS, MMO, whatever. Nobody fucking knows who that person is, right? That's what I mean. Nobody knows. So, who's the best Osu player? There, that's what I like to see. You literally get to see your exact position on the global and national leaderboard. On every map you've played, you can see your exact rank on that map and who got the best scores on it. This is so sick in my opinion and it makes it that much more fun to get good scores and see your improvement over time. Oh yeah, by the way, I would love it if you'd like the video and subscribe to my channel. We just hit 500 subscribers, which is very nice, thank you guys. It would be sick if we can hit a thousand subscribers before the year ends. And can we get 69 likes on this video? Back to another great thing about this game, the music. this was to be expected because it's a rhythm game but think of any song very good chance someone made a map for it if that's not the case you could make one yourself it feels very good and satisfying to get a full combo on one of your favorite maps you can also make the game look exactly how you want there are an insane amount of skins out there and yes those skins are absolutely free you can download as many skins as you'd like without having to pay a dime and it's even possible to design your own. There are quite a few mods to make the game easier or harder. This way you can work on your own playstyle whether you're a hidden hard rock player which requires a lot of precision or if you are a double time player for which you need a good reaction time and the ability to read the beatmap patterns. You can play the game solo or multiplayer. Multiplayer is a great way to compare your skills to other players and to get to know some new maps other players choose. You're able to see everyone's exact rank as well, which is way better than just being able to see someone's level like in a lot of other games. Playing this with friends is also a ton of fun, trying to beat each other's high scores and challenge each other. A friend of mine started playing not too long ago and he's way too competitive, so he has played for insane amounts of time. He's still quite far behind me though, and of course I'm not going to let him pass me. Another thing that makes this game freaking epic is that it's free and runs on any potato. If your PC can't run Osu, there really is something wrong, as even phones can run it perfectly fine. Most top players play with a tablet, although using a mouse shouldn't be a problem. I've used both and I still prefer mouse over tablet. This game is also quite nice to improve your mouse control. You shouldn't play it just to train your aim because you're way better off using Kovex or Aimbeast for that, but it certainly doesn't hurt. I also noticed it's quite nice to improve your peripheral vision. In harder maps the circle go too fast to focus your eyes on each and every one of them, so I focus my eyes on the center of the screen and do everything for my peripheral vision. I'm also able to see more clearly what's happening in the corners of the screen. Like if I still got my combo and if I've passed someone on the leaderboard without having to focus my eyes on it. In shooters this helps noticing enemies in the corner of your eye. This game has also been released back in 2007 and is still updated regularly. The player base now is bigger than ever so I have no worries about this game dying anytime soon. Okay I can't make it clear enough how much I like this game. And I'm warning you, if you're going to try and pick this game up, you are going to suck at the start, trust me. Even if you have great aim in shooters, doesn't mean this game is going to be easy for you. Just look at some big streamers that try Osu for the first time. If you've watched this far, you're obviously interested in the game, so just try it out. It's free. I challenge you to try and beat this map. I'll leave a link to it and my Osu profile in the description. And you're a freaking beast for watching till this far. 
Be sure to smack like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. I'll now show you my run on this map. You try and beat it. I played it with mods, you can try without if you're just getting into the game. See you next time.